Assalamu alaikum. Okay, folks, I hope everyone can see my screen now. Yes, ma'am. Yes. So since uh, Bilal, I'll be looking at my shared screen. I won't get a chance to read the messages. If there are any messages while I'm presenting, please let me know. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And with that, thank you very much, everyone, for joining in today. We'll be speaking about the digital presence of tutors um, and what that really means for us is, um, you know, your presence on tutor bees as a tutor. What does that mean? And um, you know how does it impact your work also so essentially your digital identity at utbees has your profile picture because it's publicly available there are people who haven't put it up that's okay that's their choice but then you know it gives a very unique feel for those profiles that have pictures attached with them and then this profile description of course which is text that you wrote for your own self and if you look at the different profiles of teachers on the website you'll see how personalized this content is some of the teachers they have video snippets attached to their profile they have reviews showing up some of them have batches earned so okay let me go back to the presentation so if you look at your own profiles on the website you'll see this it's a combination of all of these five things but what else can you have on your website and why, why should you even have it on your profile? So basically what happens is that when parents and students, they're searching for tutors, they can actually land on a tutor's profile directly also. It's not just you sending out offers, it's them searching for tutors also, right? And if they search for a profile, they find your profile and it's nicely put together and they can see, you know, what's your teaching style. They can watch a video. They can watch some articles that you may have written. It gives them a very nice feel of whether they want to connect with you or not. Right. And that's the reason why we are saying that this is your digital identity. Really, when you're not there in person, that's what they will look at. So essentially what you can do is you can write articles and you can share other content on the TutorBees website, which again is going to attach with your profile and it's going to complement what's there already. What you might ask Kajita, what is the type of content that we can write here? So I've come up with some ideas. They can act as guidelines and folks if you have any questions please go ahead you can unmute yourself and ask as we go along because these are just ideas so you know you could come up with how to guides how do you make a study schedule you know some student who's preparing for their exam or someone who's you know doing something particular in summer vacations they might be very much interested in finding out you know what do good balanced study schedules look like or you could write for a parent you know how do you select a school for young parents, that's actually a challenge. They don't know what are the factors that should be taken into consideration when they're made, selecting a school for their child. Then you could write subject specific tips and tricks. And you know, once I'm done with the presentation, I will walk you through some examples that I've put together. So um, we do have a sample blog that we can share with you also. So if you're teaching, let's say, chemistry or physics or mathematics or any other topic also, you know, you could write specific tips pertaining to your own subject. Then you can do resource reviews. What that means is that, you know, there are a number of resources out there on the Internet. Then there are paper books that are available. There are educational videos that are available. You can write your own review about the available content. To say that you know I found this very useful because X I have a success story to share then there could be career guidance type of articles that you could write and again your audience in this case would be aspiring teachers people who don't know how to enter this field and how to be very successful then you could share your student success story also Teaching techniques is definitely a topic of interest if you have a lot of teaching experience. And you know, this is something that not everyone can write. But again, I think this is something that's, that's high value. Then last but not least, technology in education. For example, we have had teachers who don't know how to use tools like Canva. They, they sound pretty simple to some folks who have been using it for a while. There are others who don't know how to use it, who are not that aware. So again, you know, you could write out about tools that are used 
in teaching process and there could be different types of tools right so these are some of the ideas as to what are the topics that you could work with if you're considering writing your blog article if you're considering sharing other resource material acha ji then uh, what you can do is you can also have attachments or worksheets with your blog article what that really means is ki aapki blog text ke andar if there's a link showing up that you know here's a downloadable uh, worksheet if it's one or you could have a link to an entire folder that has downloadable content and what that does for you is even if someone takes that content you can actually just include your own prof qtv's profile link in the footer that kind of brands it that this was done by you okay so let me show you a couple things that other that we found on the internet and they were really interesting so this thing so this is one such worksheet again this is some gentleman andrews he shared it and at the end of this sheet they've actually you know kind of branded it that you know this was developed by a certain college or a certain principal so this is one example then again someone locally shared this drive folder and this has very nicely organized um textbooks so you have got first year textbooks you've got second year ninth class 10th class and there are soft copies So you see someone from within our country they have done this and you know it seems like a very nice effort. I opened up one of the PDFs and it works fine. So then you could also have other resources let me share this one. So there's another one you see this has lot of interesting you know maths worksheets that parents or teachers or students you know whoever finds it interesting relevant they can download it they can use it. So the thing that I wanted to kind of also um, clarify is that uh, let me just so these are the tools that you can use. Quillbot is something that we've already kind of demonstrated also. Q U I N. Just one thing. Yeah. So this allows you to paraphrase. So basically, if you enter text over here and you ask it to paraphrase, you get a you can get to kind of. Um, you get you get a rephrased version of your own text a much better version can i have already talked about google docs can there you've got drawing documents spreadsheets you could actually you take help from chat gpt also to refine your ideas so essentially what i want to say is that when you curate content from any source you must give credit to it your content should be originally your own thoughts your own opinion your own content and that's how we see it all right no worries at all So essentially we wrote another blog for your consumption also this was a step by step guide for tutors who want to write blog articles so essentially whatever i covered till now that talks about what you can write and what are the tools that you can use and if you decide to write then really you know this is good. this article actually gives you more tips for example you know you should start by identifying your target audience क्या आप पेरेंट्स के लिए लिख रहे हैं स्टूडेंट्स के लिए लिख रहे हैं और इज इट फॉर अदर ट्यूटर्स एंड प्लीज प्लीज बी अवेयर दैट देर आर ट्यूटर्स ऑन द प्लेटफॉर्म हु आर एक्चुअली टेकिंग क्लासेस फ्रॉम अदर ट्यूटर्स आल्सो ओके सो यू कैन चूज हु आर यू राइटिंग फॉर एंड बेस्ड ऑन दैट ऑडियंस देन यू कम अप विद योर ओन टॉपिक सो इज एन अदर एग्जाम्पल फॉर फ्री शीट फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर आप if you have your own resources that you want to share you could share yeah so this is another example where it's an entire folder with english learning resource all right just so coming over to how you can organize your stuff so i've shown you um, individual files that can be attached and you see th- this is work done by other people around the globe and you can see how well organized this folder is it's publicly available going back to the blog article that brought us here so this was just a sample of what you can do and how you, how how do you you know create content that's aligned for your audience theek hai isi tarah se mathematics ke liye bhi there number of links here i'm not going to follow that so what you want to do is address the pain point of that particular audience for example if you're writing for students 
you would know as a teacher what are the typical hurdles a student faces you know is it about timing is it about understanding the concept is it about you know doing enough practice is there a certain topic that most people you know um, find difficult to understand so you would know what are the pain points so you should write in order to address any one of those pain points then the headline of your uh, article that should be catchy so some sample headlines are given here you know you could come up with questions you could use numbers uh, you could maybe highlight some benefits or you know so it just depends ke what your topic is who your audience is and what type of headline would go with that and then in terms of the content itself whatever article you're writing you should structure it well you know so formatting tips ke andar you'll see that you know the visual elements have to be there some images have to be there people should be able to relate to it let me go back to my own class so that i can actually yeah so do people have comments or questions or suggestions would you want to write what should we expect acha so i have a poll for you uh let me just start that one so i've sent a poll i just want to understand how many of our attendees today are actual readers of blog articles okay so 60% people are they actually go through the blog articles that we write and one of the things that we were also considering was that you know every time we publish out fresh content on the website we can actually send out an email to inform folks also all right that's good so how many people are use are using chat gpt also can i start a poll for that as well so this is interesting chat gpt wale poll pe half and half hai matlab there are people who are actually not regular users of chat gpt okay so again uh, this is our audience this is our platform agar aap logo mein se koi uske bare mein bhi likhna chahta hai to aap likh sakte hain although there are many many prompts out there but you could actually offer that as well and how many professional teachers so essentially i think i'm going to end this poll now and let me also understand uh, so just to understand how many tutors and how many parents do we have today so tutors can write a true for this question almost half and half all right ठीक है जी सो आई थिंक एक्चुअली आर्टिकल्स जो हैं वो ट्यूटर्स के अलावा बाकी लोग भी लिख सकते हैं यू नो इफ देर आर पेरेंट्स और देर आर स्टूडेंट्स या दे कैन आल्सो डू इट आप लोगों में से कोई ऐसे लोग हैं जिनकी अपनी कोई ब्लॉग साइट हो कोई आपकी यूट्यूब चैनल हो इज एनी वन रनिंग देर ओन ब्लॉग और देर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल but we cannot uh, we couldn't uh, share it on tutorbeast.net because it has uh, because it, it has been shared on some other platform so okay. we we can also tell this uh, to the tutors and parents that if you have shared the same blog on some other platform so we cannot share it on tutorbeast.net right ji so people who are running their own blogs agar wo apna article apne blog ke alawa idhar bhi लिंक अप करना चाहते हैं तो उसका तरीका यही होता है कि एट द एंड ऑफ द आर्टिकल यू हैव टू हैव अ डिस्क्लेमर सेइंग दैट दिस आर्टिकल वाज ओरिजिनली पब्लिश्ड एट एंड देन यू गिव दैट लिंक्स ताकि वो एक बैक लिंक क्रिएट होता है तो इट्स अ डिस्क्लोजर दैट यू शुड डू अर्ली ऑन जी डू वी हैव एनी अदर क्वेश्चंस अदरवाइज वी कैन रैप अप द सेशन अगर हमारे पास और क्वेश्चंस नहीं है मैम कैन आई इन मीनवाइल इफ इफ आई कैन आस्क फॉर द रिव्यू आप रिव्यू का डेमो दे दें और मैंने लास्ट वो ले करना है टू आस्क हाउ मेनी पीपल वुड एक्चुअली इन राइट आर्टिकल्स सो इंटरेस्टिंग टू सी दैट यू नो नाइन पीपल हैव सेड दे वुड एक्चुअली बी इंटरेस्टेड इन राइटिंग एन आर्टिकल तो हमारी ब्लॉग की साइट के ऊपर अगेन आई थिंक आई कैन शेयर माई स्क्रीन वंस अगेन और उसके बाद आई जस्ट आस्क फिलहाल के वो All right ji so uh, before we ask you for feedback on the platform just wanted to run it uh, run the whole thing by you again so yes we spoke about your digital identity jiske andar ye sare components aa jate hain 
कि दिस इज हाउ पीपल विल आइडेंटिफाई यू एट द वेब पोर्टल राइट और इसका इम्पैक्ट यही है कि यू नो लोग एसोसिएट करते हैं आपका कंटेंट आपकी पर्सनालिटी और आपकी टीचिंग प्रोफेशन के साथ देन द टाइप ऑफ ब्लॉग आर्टिकल्स उस पर हमने बात की okay. कि आप कुछ लिख सकते हैं यू नो यू कैन राइट हाउ टू गाइड टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स आप कर सकते हैं आप रिसोर्स रिव्यूज कर सकते हैं कंटेंट क्यूरेट भी कर सकते हैं दैट्स परफेक्टली वैलिड क्या बताए कि अच्छा मुझे फिजिक्स का मटीरियल ये दस जगह के ऊपर ये वाला मिला हुआ एंड आई थिंक दिस वन इज मोस्ट यूजफुल टू टीच सर्टन टॉपिक फिर मैंने आपके साथ आई मीन आई आई काइंड ऑफ ऑल्सो वॉन्ट टू शेयर विद यू के ऑल ओवर द ग्लोब लोग अपनी चीजें एक्सपर्ट जो है वो शेयर करते हैं इट डज इट इट इस्टेब्लिश देयर ओन क्रेडिबिलिटी एंड देयर ओन एक्सपर्टीज ऑल्सो इट डज नॉट मीन के उनसे कोई पढ़ने नहीं आएगा क्योंकि मटीरियल तो सारा उन्होंने दे दिया है बिकॉज इसेंशली वेन वी टॉक अबाउट लाइफ क्लासेस तो एक की कॉम्पोनेंट उसका होता है कि मटेरियल तो आ गया बट समझाना है दैट्स द कोर जॉब ऑफ अ टीचर खास तौर पे वन टू वन ट्यूटरिंग के अंदर तो वो वो पार्ट जो है वो फंक्शन रिप्लेस नहीं हो जाता अगर हम अपना मटेरियल शेयर करते हैं एंड एज एन एग्जांपल ये मैंने आपके साथ कुछ लिंक्स शेयर किए ये मैथमेटिक्स की साइट मैंने एक दिखाई थी मैंने एक आपको फिजिक्स की दिखाई थी Then I showed you an English website इधर खुली हुई थी फोल्डर था पूरा उसका देन हमने क्लास नाइन की टेक्सट बुक्स देखी है लोगों ने वो शेयर की हुई है राइट सो दिस लॉट ऑफ स्टाफ जो कि अवेलेबल है ये ठीक है सो दिस लॉट ऑफ स्टाफ दैट अदर पीपल हैव मेड अवेलेबल और आप भी अगर करते हैं दैट्स गुड फॉर यू दैट्स गुड फॉर द कम्युनिटी हो सकता है किसी और का शेयर किया हुआ आपको अच्छा लग जाए हो सकता है आपका शेयर किया हुआ किसी और को अच्छा लग जाए मैंने आपसे जिक्र किया दिट्स एन एक्सिले कैनवा इज अ टूल जिसमें आप इमेजेस वगैरह के साथ काम कर सकते हैं फिर डिजाइन डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कंटेंट ऑन कैनवा इज वेल गूगल डॉक्स फ्री टू यूज है डेफिनेटली यूज करें उनको फॉर ड्रॉइंग्स फॉर डॉक्यूमेंट स्प्रेडशीट फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस प्रेजेंटेशन इज यूजिंग द प्रेजेंटेशन एट यू नो प्रोवाइडेड बाय गूगल डॉक्स चैट जीपीटी आप यूज कर सकते हैं इन टर्म्स ऑफ प्रोसेस आई रिक्वेस्टेड कि यू नो यू शुड ईमेल योर कंटेंट टू एडमिन एट यूट्यूब इज डॉट नेट इफ यू रिटन समथिंग एंड देन यू विल बी आस्ट इफ द कंटेंट इज जेनुनली योर्स दिस इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट स्टेप बिकॉज वी डू नॉट वॉन्ट पीपल टू कॉपी अदर पीपल्स कॉन्टेंट एंड से जी आई रोप दिस अगर ऐसा डिस्प्यूट आएगा हम उसको केस बाय केस बेसिस पे देखेंगे सो अ गुड प्रैक्टिस इज कि आप किसी का कॉपीराइट वायलेट किए बगैर अगर आप क्यूरेट कर रहे हैं कंटेंट आप उनको क्रेडिट दें दैट द सोर्स ऑफ दिस इज जो भी उसका लिंक है दैट्स द बेस्ट थिंग टू डू वैल्यू एडिशन ये है कि अगर आपका अपना एक्सपीरियंस है कि अच्छा ये कंटेंट मैंने यहां देखा था मैंने इसको यूज किया है आई फाउंड दिस वेरी हेल्पफुल दैट्स द वैल्यू एड दैट यू कैन डू अच्छा जी सो बिलाल इफ यू कैन गाइड पीपल हाउ टू गिव रिव्यूज दैट विल बी ग्रेट थैंक यू Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. I'm taking presentation from you. Sure. So, okay. Just give me a moment. I'm going to share my screen now. Okay. So, uh, as you can see, this is trustpilot.com. I'm going to uh, put this link here as well. Trustpilot.com. So you will go to this. Ah, uh, okay. So basically, Trustpilot is a third-party website. और ये डिफरेंट प्लेटफॉर्म्स को रिव्यू करते हैं रेटिंग्स के लिए तो वी वुड आइडियली लाइक बिकॉज आज हमने ट्यूटर बीज टीम के बिहाफ के ऊपर आपके साथ कुछ इंफॉर्मेशन शेयर की है वी वुड लाइक के आप ट्रस्ट पायलट में जाके ट्यूटर बीज प्लेटफॉर्म को रिव्यू करें प्लीज यस मैम थैंक यू सो दिस इज दर्च बॉय ऑन द मेन पेज ऑफ ट्रस्ट पायलट so you will type tutorbees.net right so on top you can see it's tutorbees and you will click on it and then this is uh the link to write a review or you can uh, give stars first you will click here so you can for example i give four stars or five stars and then i will put my review here i will type here something about utubees.net and give give i will give uh, a title to my review the heading to my review and here uh, uh, you can 
put the date of uh, the day uh, you are uh, giving review right and simple you will sign up with your you can simply just continue with google and you will just eventually send uh, the review to uh, to rubies.net so i think ma'am this is pretty much it about trust pilot okay okay so i think uh, do people want to do it right now aap ek separate browser window mein kar sakte hain isko if you have questions you can ask bilal right away okay sure trustpilot.com yeah and uh, everyone i've shared the links to our social handles on facebook instagram linkedin youtube and tiktok so if please uh, subscribe to us there for the updates as well so thank you ma'am thank you very much i think binish is typing let's just wait if she has something to say kindly share on whatsapp all right yes I yes think, yeah chai, i will okay. okay thank you very much yala fez i'll end the session thank now you, Office. Thank you, Alaa. Alaa, Alaa, Fizi.